to ready and go. So here's the square divided irregularly into the nine rectangles of which this one happens to be a square. You're given the areas of these corner ones, so that's always a clue because they're tied together horizontally and vertically, and you have to find something about this one which completes the pattern horizontally and vertically, but not the area, because that'd be quite quick, but what's the perimeter of this? Well, straight away, again, I don't need to set things out formally because that's just a multiple choice. So for this one, if rectangles have got the same height as these two do, the areas must be in proportion to the width so that this length must be three times that length, or this one's a third of that. Moving down here, again, they've got the same height, so their areas will be in proportion to the widths. Well, if this is a third of the width, it must be a third of the area, so that area must be two. But I need its perimeter. Now, obviously, they're tied together. You, you don't need two variables, but I'm going to give them two names. I'll call it A and B. But obviously, B is just going to be two divided by A. But then I can work back using these to get another connection. So far I've got one connection. A times B is 2. There's one equation. So from here, this width must be 3 times that width. So if that's B, that's going to be 3B. And going up the way, I could have put it down here instead. And going up the way, that height must be half of that height. So that must be a half of A. Now comes the next connection, because that's a square in the middle. The lengths of these two sides must be the same because it's a square. So the sum of these three parts must equal the sum of these three parts. But those two parts are the same, coming from a square, so I can ignore that. So I get another connection. I've got B plus 3B, that's four lots of B, must be the same as A plus a half A, so that's 3 upon 2A. One and a half, 3 upon 2A. So, B is equal to, take the four cross, divide three eighths of A. There's another equation. You're almost there now, just need to feed it back into this. Pair of equations and two variables should be able to find them. So feeding it into the first one. A times, and that's three eighths of A, should equal two. So A squared would equal 16, taking it across, 16 upon three. So A is going to be the square root of that. That's four upon root three. And then to get B, I could pop back up here. So B is going to be 3 eighths of this. Again, you could just do that in your head if it was you're actually doing the challenge, because you'd save a few seconds from having to write down this, which is effectively just an explanation. 3 eighths of this, 3 eighths of 4 upon root 3. Well, the 4 and the 2, will the 8 will cancel to 2 underneath. That root 3 will divide into that 3 to give a root 3. So B equals root 3 upon 2. Now you've got the two lengths. If you're looking for the perimeter, It'll just be add them and double it, or double them and add it. So double that is 8 upon root 3. Double that is just root 3. Single fraction. So that stays as 8 over root 3. But that'll need to get multiplied by another root 3 to make it 3. Which means the perimeter is 11 upon root 3. There we go.